The following video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Nearly 70 years of quality HVAC tools. And Parker Sporlin. Check out the zoom lock from Parker Sporlin and imagine a life without brazing. Alright guys, we're looking at a uh, York Diamond 80 that my dad installed. I changed out the air conditioning in 2013. It's got a train coil and a train condenser. Man, that thing looks nasty already. This is actually our old house that I lived in when we were a kid. That's why my dad put this in. Chicago said it wasn't heating. When I got here, the when you turn it on heat, the blower would run nonstop. The induced draft motor would come on, and the igniter would come on also. But uh, it, it, the blower would kick on immediately. Did some troubleshooting to find out that we got a bad thermostat. I took the the wires off the stat, and the the batteries were all corroded in here you can see right here you can see where that one leaked and I think it messed up the thermostat when it did that so uh, I pulled the wires off the thermostat and I put a jumper right there you can see my two red jumpers one to R one to W and when I did that comes on by itself you can hear that the blower is not running because normally when I would do that with the stat hooked up the blower would kick on with the inducer there's our igniter we have ignition and here in a few minutes we'll hear the blower motor or a few seconds We'll hear the blower motor kick, uh, cut on. We have no open limits. I checked the high limit. The high limit's good. All the, there's limits in the back back there. You can see those two wires going to a limit, and there's another limit back there. All the limits are closed. They're, they're push button resets. There's a limit there, and it's good. And there's a limit here. It's good. And there's the blower motor. You can hear the blower running. We got a bad thermostat. So, uh, I carry the Honeywell T6, but I'm out of them. But I had this one on the truck. Good thermostat. Emerson's new thermostat. It's a one heat, one cool, and that's all we need for this application. So, we're going to pop that on the wall. All right, guys. We've got our new stat on the wall, the new Emerson. These are good stats. I'm a Honeywell guy, but I'm out of the T6. I carry the T6 because you can do everything with T6. Non-programmable, programmable. Heat pump or non-heat pump. This one, it, I mean, they make them for heat pump and all that, but not this one. This is a one heat, one cool. I do carry a couple of these as well. These are great stats. I really do like them. Um, all right, so we got the new stat on there. Let's put the door back on. Now, earlier when I had the stat hooked up and I would put the door, you know, engage the door switch, Blower would come on immediately. So would the inducer. If I've diagnosed this right, that should not happen when I do this. All right, guys. As you saw when I put the door on, it did happen. The blower didn't come on, but the inducer did. So I was you know, like what the hell. But then I realized I left my jumper wire on the board. <laughs> See, I'm not a super tech. Nobody is. Anybody can make a mistake. I left the damn jumper wires on R and W and that's why it came on. So let's try it again. We're gonna put the door on, which is gonna engage the door switch. The thermostat is off. So when I put this door on, nothing should happen. No blower, no inducer, no nothing my damn thermostat wire again. Okay. There we go. 
doors on, nothing's happening. No inducer, no blower, no nothing. Nothing is happening. All right, that's what we want. Let's try the fan. Yep, I hear the fan. The fan shut off. Pull it to heat. Temperature's up to 70. Stat clicked. I hear an inducer. The inducer's running. And we have an igniter. And we have ignition. All right. Looks good. All right, guys, the old York Diamond 80 lives. You know, a lot of you guys talk shit about York on Facebook and on YouTube. And now for the new stuff, yeah, I agree with you. But back back then, when they made this right here, this Diamond 80 and the Diamond 90s, which we don't have no 90s here, but I know people up north do. These Diamond 80 furnaces were badass. These are some good furnaces right here. We never had no trouble with them. And this was not a furnace issue. We had a bad thermostat furnace is fine got some rust on it but she's still kicking um this is when york was good stuff before johnson controls got their hands on it 